And we are counting. Yo. I know you're going to keep me on time, my sister. You're going to keep me on time. My sis told me, listen, my sis told me just do 30 minutes because people do not support, she said. She said, do 30 minutes because you can be on here Sabir for 80 minutes and people will not support it. They'll watch it, look at it. Some of these cats will, cats will come on here and grab it. But she told me do 30 minutes. Y'all got 30 minutes with me. 30 minutes. My sister's keeping time. So... I'm going to run through all of this. If y'all want more, please support. I always keep saying this. Donate. Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. So you're only getting 30 minutes. No, it wasn't. Trust me, B, it wasn't. You'd be surprised who went on there. It really wasn't. So listen, we're going to kick it off. 30 minutes you're getting. Listen. Let's go. Going to start out with some music. All right, I thought I was gonna start out with some music. I don't know what's going on with the remote control, but it's kind of stuck. What the hell? Okay. Look. Just because it's in print doesn't mean it's the gospel. People write negative things because they feel that's what sells. Good news to them doesn't sell. Hold up, let's go back. Let's go back. Pay attention. Just because it's in print doesn't mean it's the gospel. People write negative things because they feel that's what sells. Good news to them doesn't sell. Good news does not sell. Hold up, one more time again. Rewind. Listen. Just because it's in print doesn't mean it's the gospel. People write negative things because they feel that's what sells. Good news to them doesn't sell. How has it impacted you? My album is number one all over the world. All over the world. America's Real truth don't sell. Listen. But it's not number one in the United States. It's a conspiracy, yeah. I will never stop helping and loving people the way Jesus said to me. He said, continue to love. Mike, imitate the children. It's the return of the black moors with no fears. Scary like that document. Let's go back. Listen. Imitate the children. It's the return of the black moors with no fears. Scary like that documentary on Lisa Lopez. Pentagrams, pyramids, conspiracies with go heads, knock down the levees, knock down the projects, start another project, build another object, a drive through touch screen doctrine for me to digest. This horse is without blinders on, driving by the obvious, riding by the obvious, riding by the obvious. Uh huh. Regardless who you vote for, if the mind don't grow, the poverty line don't go, but the dope keep coming and the TV keep flashing images of a sports car, then you bound for a coke wall. The meat get clowned by the coke law, the sheep get drowned in the folk law, then law to sleep by Tom Brokaw. Hmm. Woo! Pity. The Heard what he said? Politicians' tongue never ever trickles down to the city. Yeah. So if a nigga put a president's mask on and run up in the bank with a max saying, gimme, gimme, I ain't glad at him. But I ain't mad at him. Listen. Mad at him. Look, if anybody asks you who I be, say a painter with a felt pen who drew I leave. I'm like Ooh. Cassius when I blast my last out Hold the ass of the mask. Let's go back a little bit. You gotta hear what that hear that? Mad at him, but I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. Look, if anybody asks you who I be, say a painter with a 
felt pain from Drew Ali. I'm like Cassius when I blast molasses out the ass of the masses. From Fulton Street Mall of Grass shit, I'm handing out free Alaskans. Yo, Jay, where your staff at? Me said you threw it. Yeah, I outgrew it. Some blog said you blew it. Nigga, fuck your blog. Jigga man said you can't knock the hustle, dog. I'm on the same launching pad that shot bustle law. That's why I stay done. You can ask me. Now, I had to cut that. You heard what he said with Mike. You heard what he said about going law, getting Lord back to sleep by Tom Brokoff. This is why I, when Mike said the truth don't sell, this information don't sell, y'all. White supremacy sells. Police brutality sells. This is why my good sister just told me do 30 minutes and leave it alone. And she's timing me right now. We've been on it for five minutes. She said, Sabir no hatter, how long you stay on these threads? Negroes don't want support. Some of them come on in just to try to see where I'm at. Right? No lie. She told me, and she's on here right now. She's a school teacher. She said her students watch my videos and they love it. And they love KRS One tracks that I be playing. They love the KRS One tracks that I play. Now she said they're gonna love J Electronica join. She said the black moors with no fez. He said, it, he asked me who I be. He said, Noble Drew Ali. So when I was doing radio, I was playing this on radio. All this on radio, even with my man J Electronica. Y'all have to understand, yo, you're being lured back to sleep with these news people, with your school teachers, with a lot of these cats that's giving these lectures and I'm going to show y'all something please share this out anybody that thinking or in doubt of what I'm saying please get them right now because I'm only going to be on here for 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes right yes like the movie get out 30 minutes that's J Electronica. My man right there. J Electronica. Y'all don't want the truth, but I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm sitting here. Right? This is a book. Then I'm gonna come out of real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build on this. And it may be, honestly, my sister, it may be less than 30 minutes. It may be less. So she was telling me 20 minutes I should do. So, this book, let me move this out the way for a minute, is for children, right? 33 civics questions to ask the Moorish children and their friends. And I put adults, right? This is the brother that brought me into this movement. See, people believe it's Taj. But this brother was so damn sharp, Kamar Gabriel. And it was a blessing to be sitting with this brother for like two years, two or three years before I even met Taj. Kamar is not around anymore. He's not concerned about this. He's done with it. Kamar is done. As many brothers I can name that is really finished with this movement because honestly, like Mike just said in that video, we don't want the truth. No matter how much I can show y'all, Right? Or well, what they doing to you, we go right back to sleep as soon as somebody come on here with white supremacy or whatever other crazy stuff. Like he said, J J um, Brokoff put you back to sleep. Right? But this brother taught me this almost 18 years ago. 18 years ago. He made it so plain. This is, this is about the only book that he had and the only one, only cassette tape, this is how far, cassette tape that he had. Now I'm going to show you all something in this book. This is for children and adults. This is what we were working with. He actually mentioned Taj. He gave Taj props in here, right? This is what we were teaching, which you ain't going to be taught in school at all. You're not going to be taught this in school at all.
If you talk to the seven-year-old JJ, you will hear JJ dropping this. What is a nation? This is a civics question for just children and adults. Yeah, give them some celebrity gossip, they'll get it. You also tweet this out. Share this out. I want them naysayers to jump on here. I want the naysayers to jump on. Yeah, Jaquetta, I think you have this book too. What are people of a nation called? What did they call a national? This is for children, yo. He wrote this for children, and the Kamar at the time didn't even have children. What is a constitution? Adults need to know these things, right? The adults need to know this. Adults don't even know what a constitution is. Adults don't even know what a country is, right? They don't have no idea what a country is. What is the name of your constitution? This is, okay. She teaches we, through nature. Talk to me for a minute, y'all. Have any of these people ever showed y'all and educated y'all on this? Talk to me for a minute. This book is probably over 20 years old. 20. 20 years old. This is basic. Right? Look at this. Everything is researchable and I'm going to get into this. And my sister keeping timing on here because I'm off at 30. I'm learning with the kids, no doubt. She's a school teacher, shout out. Because the children need to know this. Because she was telling me about the children, how they love my videos. Shout out to the students, man. Shout out to all your students, my sis. And tell them I got their back. Yeah, they say basic safe, basic seventh grade. Yeah, but they don't. How? Why do people run around here calling America a country? Why do you have grown people calling it a country and calling themselves a minority? Think about it for a minute. They call themselves minorities when you're a grown man and you call yourself. They call this a country, which is a continent. Hmm. I wonder who are the so-called Indians. They are Moors. It's a group, community group. That's what's up. Right? So who are the so-called blacks? They are Moors. You are a teacher though, sister. You are a teacher. You're the first teacher. Women are the first teachers. You said he brought Taj. Brought you to Taj. Yup, years later. Years later, he brought me to Taj. Years later. I sat in his brother's house so long that I eventually moved in his house back then. And I was hustling in the street, hard body. Hard body. So I will always give this brother props. The hustle, the Islam couldn't even stop me. Islam couldn't stop me from hustling. But it was this brother who brought me into this knowledge. And I actually, I can't tell all because I got... I have people who want a special interview with me about this. They want an exclusive interview with me about how I came into this. But this is the brother. Islam couldn't even stop me from hustling. But it was this brother. Okay? Because I was curious. I was asking him questions about his, his fez on his head. And I had a, a Sunni beard. What does D.C. stand for? You see this? In Washington, D.C. stands for District of Columbia. How many grown people know that and they keep calling this a country? Who was George Washington, the ninth president? This is what you should teach your children. This is a continental flag, people. Let me tell you about this. I have a map, a, a flag book. I moved to California and I was getting my stuff shipped to California. Do you know my package was open and the book with the flags was taken out of there? With this flag in there. Sub 
willing to donate peace. Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. Sabir Bay, S A B I R B E Y Radio at gmail.com. Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. Yeah, no lie. I literally had to call the post office and find out what happened because my package was opened, the book was gone, and they retaped it back up again. This is why I don't really put my name on anything when I mail out stuff anymore. I don't put my name on there because they love to dig in your stuff. But this was gone. Now, if I just showed you this, y'all would argue with me and say that's not the continental flag. But guess who knows this? Every European knows this. Every European knows this, but black folks don't know. Yes, somebody stole my book. Yes. Yes, they did. They stole the book. That's why I don't put my name on anything anymore. Look, this pamphlet is highly recommended to anyone who is studying the metaphysical science. You see this? This is for children and adults. This is for both, right? I don't know if they can see those things when y'all leave those comments up there, but um, it's sabirabayradio at gmail.com. Look, Article 4, Section 4, guarantees a Republican form of government, right? So why do people run around here calling this a democratic democracy? Talk to me for a minute, y'all. Why do people run and talk about this is a democratic democracy or a democracy? Don't they pledge allegiance in school to the republic for which it stands? To the republic for which it stands. Not to the democrat or democracy. Yes, they can see it. Okay. So this is what we do. Basic civics. Basic civics. Right? Look. See, they're not used to this. I know they've been trained, but they what J Electronica said. Did you hear what J Electronica was saying? About people. About Tom Brokoff. Did you hear what he said? So listen. I'm gonna play something else for y'all. I respect when, he, when Muhammad Ali was with Elijah Muhammad. This is us dealing with them. I never went to a college, people. Never went to a college. But if you bring me your best that went to the college that brag about their degrees, we can go. Real rap. All I'm saying is that stop looking down on people who don't have a so-called degree. That's why I say what I say. People. The ones that have the degrees like J Electronica said are the ones that is misleading you. I want you to listen to Muhammad Ali for a second. Listen to this. This is Muhammad Ali. Uh, the Catholics and the Protestants, you all are fighting, but yet still you can talk and try to negotiate. And I say you are a hypocrite, you are a Catholic, and we fight the Protestants, and I see you over there doing business with our Protestants. You are a, or whatever this is, whoever's fighting out here. Somebody run up and see now on China is our enemy want to blow up America today, but they still talk and do business and try. Now I'm a hypocrite because I got a white fellow working for me in all white country. I'm here because I got white fans. No, no, no. This is I silly. So why do you read no, something no, like this? I, and just say, ain't you my signature? No, I ain't doing that. You you know I done fed you and I done got came on you. You don't you ain't used to no black man and mainly no boxer having no sense. I'm not just a boxer. I'm taught by Elijah Muhammad. I can talk all week on millions of subjects. You too much to tackle me to bring me on your TV show. That's you don't have that anymore. We think that we got to go to their colleges to know that. That's Muhammad Ali back in the day. 
So let me show y'all something. Bear with me. Now remember what I told y'all. We got 19, we got 10 minutes. Remember I told you about Lathan, Lath, Lathan Hughes, right? He had a poem when he went to Spain. In 1937, I'm only going to be on here 30 minutes. I got like 10 minutes, sister Kit. I'm not even going long anymore. So, 1937, Langston Hughes, right, did a poem. Yeah, Langston Hughes did a poem in Spain, about Spain to Alabama, I think it was Alabama. Yeah, oh damn, I mean, I'm doing it because people really don't support sis. That's why I'm not really going that far. You know what I mean? It's like 30 minutes tops because I give up too much and I got to cut it and Please don't last, ask me at the last minute, people, to keep going, because I will cut the video. Hey. So this is what he wrote, 1937. Dear brother at home, I've captured and wounded a moor. You see this? Why aren't they telling our people this at HBCUs? Look. This is a poem. Right? All the way down to them moors as dark as me as me. You see this? Why ain't they telling our people this? Why do they make it seem like the moors are somebody that's separate? They're not teaching this in school. Listen, Moors prisoner hell. But the wounded war more, you see that? Was dying. So I'm gonna show y'all something else. Bear with me. Bear with me that they don't teach in HBCUs. Now, that was in 1937, right? 1937. Let's go. Afro-American. Look at this, y'all. This is a newspaper in 1937 also. I'm going to let y'all see this. What did it say? Baltimore, Maryland, 1937. Right? 1937. No, but why is it that we have all the technology today and we're not giving out real information? Think about it. They don't want it. Y'all want the emotional talk. Do you think those teachers at HBC actually know this? They should know this information. They should. If you have an African American studies, you should know this. I'm not a, I'm not a person in college, people. How does a person that is not in college know this? How is it a person that's in college that does not in college know where to find this and teach it? Let's keep it real. Either you're incompetent or you're hiding something. Incompetent or hiding. But look, that was in 1937. Look. Look at this. The Hughes finds Moors being used as pawns. You see this? In Spain. You see that? So, in Spain. Spain, right? Spain, right? All this is in Spain. So, they don't teach you anything about your history, but this is an Afro, which is actually Afro-Latin, Afro-American, afro, -Latin, afro Afro. I know you never once heard the teachings on this. I know. Yes, HBCU teachers should know this, right? So hold up, we're not finished yet. Look. Look. Where's our black scholars teaching this? Right? Now that was 37. This is 37. This is 37, right? But wait a minute. 1937. Will Spain fall once before the same Moorish tribes that conquered her in 711? Where is that in the African American Museum, y'all? Where? I'm making copies of all this stuff now. But where are the so-called black scholars who supposed to be teaching your children this information. This is why they're buck wilding. Because the truth is not being told.
is not, this is in the newspaper. Look. Let me zoom in on this for y'all can see this. The Moors were Moors originally were a nomadic tribe of Berber or Hamatites in northern Africa. They were dark skinned, sometimes almost black, but more displaying the olive hue complexion of the certain of the Caucasian people. Now, we would think Caucasian is dealing with Europeans. No, it wasn't. No. Mm -mm -mm. Right? Why is it in Ohio's newspaper? Hold up. All this, look at these years. Pay attention to the year. What happened to our people? The Moors have, all this is in 1930s, 1800s, 1893. I know, five minutes, five minutes. 1893, right? So, if I'm going through history and showing you who we are, why we are in denial, black in color, like white, or on the other hand, European words, Ethiopian and more, were properly used to describe the so-called blacks into the 1500s. Why are we not teaching this? Ask their school teachers what were we called before 1500s. Ask them. Oh, the Moors are gone. They're not around anymore. Hold up. This is at TSU. A professor has this at TSU and told the student that she should not touch on the Moors. TSU, but this is in Cambridge, about the Moors. See, if we're not studying Spain, we would never know what happened because you're looking for your history and slavery and you got people running around saying, well, we're not Moors. Wait a minute. The Moors of Guinea, do y'all see that? Maybe 10 minutes for Q&A. Okay, we'll do 10 minutes for Q&A, okay? You'll, we'll leave 10 minutes for Q&A. All right? So she said 10 minutes. She's the moderator right now. The Moors of Guinea. So where are the teachers teaching this at? I'm asking. The Mandinka. All same Moors people. The teachers who mentioned Moors were my art teachers, like they're the teachers. Well, you talking about art? As in this art right here? I did five straight years and feel like I know more than the majority than these documents, many cops. <laughs> you talking about that art? Wait a minute. So say that we aren't Moors or those either don't. Yeah, they don't read. But I'm just showing y'all. See this? Okay? Portuguese in West Africa. So, for people who have these silly arguments and say the Moors are not around anymore? Really? The Moors' children? Hold up. Moore's children. This was done 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Spain couldn't even last 20 years without the Moors. Nope. They couldn't last over here without the Moors either. So they had to denationalize our people in Philadelphia in 1774. 1774, they denationalized all these blacks and labeled them Negro, Black, and Colored. So look. So look. Moore's children. Moore's was another name for Ethiopia. We are all the same people, right? But they'll tell you it is different. So what they've been doing is taking and denationalizing all you black folks. Okay? And denationalizing you. Shame. Right? Now what other proof do y'all need from me? And ask them where their proof at. What other proof do y'all need? From me. Look. What is nationality and national? What's it, Sabir? What is nationality? Look it up. It's called a law dictionary. N nationality determines your political status. 
Nationality determines your political status. They are the same people. My family are Gullah. My family are Gullah. But that's a whole other subject that's not going to go that far because we're going to do Q&A in a minute. She said 10 minutes. I told you, don't wait till the last minute. Y'all want more? Please support and donate. I keep saying that. She said, I've been giving too much already. So look, this is the last. We at the 30 minute mark. The Moors are though naturally. You see this? All in here is about the Moors. Study. 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 I didn't pull out documents that they don't show you at African American Museum. None of these places, they don't show y'all nothing. Period. But you African, right? And we're Pan-African, right? But you love the, the talk of police brutality and white supremacy. So we got 10 minutes for Q&A. And it may be less than that. What's up? Tolerance. Shoot, yes, shoot. And goodbye. Oh, they got nothing to say now. See how they quiet? And listen, we got 45 people on here, right? And I'm going to say this again. My sister told me to put this out there. We got 45 people can donate $5. 5 or $10 to Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. Think about it. Oh, we got no questions? We got a lot of people on here, believe me. Cats is on here probably trying to figure it out. Their wheels are spinning right now. Their wheels are spinning. Where the hell he get this information from? I did he go to Harvard, Yale, Spelman, Howard? Which one? Shh. Where? I'm y'all see I give y'all the floor. I challenge everyone on the feed to donate twenty dollars to support the Sabir Bay, Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. Good luck with that one. <laughs> but it's all love. It's all love, y'all. Yes, all they need to do is read. And it's not about just reading, honestly, people. It's about what you're reading. What you're reading. So the Moors and the Gullahs are, yes, they're the same people. Same. There is a tribe in Ethiopia called Gullah. But if you mention Gullah in Ethiopia, you will get killed. Straight up. You will get killed. Go to any Ethiopia and mention Gullah. Watch what happened. Because they would talk about the relation. They was talking about the relations before the Gullah that's in down south. Because my family's there. Do you know my grandmother died 106? And she, before she died, she told me that she knew we were Moors. My great-grandmother, which 106. She told me because I asked her. Anybody of dark or hue or so-called complexion are Moors people. Yes, the Gullah Islands. Oh, that's a whole other subject. The Gullah Islands. It is. You can't say Badia in Ethiopia. Ask any Ethiopia that question. Badia means black slave. Gullah, they will kill you. Badia, they will lock you up. For some reason, we, they let, they, we allow them to call us black because we did not call black was at one time. They would, they would curse you out. And get into a fight back in the 50s if you said that. I was asking Massa Musa and the Montezuma. You know, they would get into a fight back in the day. If you said that. Being a Moor doesn't mean that you have you have nationality. Thank you. Even which way you want to flip-flop it is anybody of hue complexion. Anybody that's so-called black. You got a couple of questions. What is Gullah? Well, research the Gullahs. Hold up. Research the Gullah Geechis. Gullahs are in Ethiopia too. Shango, Shangala, all that stuff. Ethiopia. There's Montezuma right there. This is Montezuma. If you don't study Spain and the downfall of your ancestors, you will never know what happened. You will never, ever know. None of, we are all studying slavery. 
That's all they teach you. Every 20 years, they have another slave movie coming out. But nothing that we are all Moors. Anyone of hue complexion was a Moor. Anyone of hue complexion. Remember, Afro, Negro, all those terms were you. It's all the same. So, we got what? A couple minutes? Let's Webster's. 1936 Blackamore, a Negro. I know. That's why we agreed to get off of here. You just said we get 10 minutes. 10 minutes for questions. So we agreed to get it off of here right now. And that's five minutes over. Okay? She said 10 minutes for questions. So we agreed to close out on this. And I hope y'all get something from this. Hope y'all share it. Hope y'all support. I'm done. I got to cut it. I'm told you it's only been 30 minutes. 30 minutes because she said people do not really. I'm not talking about the ones that don't support. I'm talking about the ones who don't support. Who We got 45 people in here. That's what she was talking about. I give up too much information, but it's all love. But I'm going to close out with this. Look at this. And I want y'all to share this out. Also, Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. Look, Pete, Saturday Night Live. Hold up. Listen to this. Will Come on, gentlemen. I trust you slept well. What have you done with Rita? Rita is it? How familiar. Listen. Rita is sleeping off the after effects in the state room. She is quite lovely, isn't she? Who knows? I might even. Watch what he said. Familiar with her myself. That'd be one more reason for me to kill you. Oh, yes, Mr. West. I'm sure to a no doubt, well endowed black and more like yourself, it must seem absolutely impossible that a free black me could fully enjoy the pleasure. He said, a black and more like yourself. It must seem absolutely impossible that a free black me could fully enjoy. Hello? <laughs> oh, my God. A black and more. I've only seen your kind in paintings. <laughs> they called Will Smith a blackamore. Sir, that lobby said, I only saw your kind in paintings. You keep denying who you are. Keep denying and allowing these people to deny who you are. Peace. I got to go, y'all. 30 minutes tops. I'm done. Actually, it was 10 minutes for questions, but we cutting that kind of short. So... Want more? Please go support, yo. I gotta go, but share the video out. I'm out.